our economy is experiencing unprecedented volatility partially because people want it to be volatile and scary and they want it to break because if it breaks their short bets will pay off and they've been betting short for so long like you think tesla has been hit right now and they're in the when they're in the 400s you have no idea how long these people have been shorting they've been shorting since the 100s so um like i, I understand tesla has taken the mat dropped massively um but um Th there's a difference between dropping massively and going bankrupt, and that's why Tesla's gonna need, um, Tesla's gonna gonna need help, um, and and it's it's essential because that because Tesla is an essential company because it's like it's it's like a research company, so at the minimum they're gonna have to get bought out by the government, which I, I don't know if like that's really s smart, but no matter what they're gonna have to be protected, um, so. I have been thinking about back in the day when I made fun of Taylor's ass because I was like, because uh, I, I said I don't like thigh gaps. And it was more that, that like, I didn't like that she was, it felt like she was like breaking up with me almost. Um, but it was, but I, I, I didn't understand our relationship at all. And I didn't understand the situation. And I did not under, I did not handle life very well. It's during, I, I haven't handled my life very well during certain times. And I lived my life on the internet for like, 10 years in an embarrassing way. Um, cause I was like in a, like suddenly you find out that you're part of this mafia and that all these people are after you and that you're in danger. And like, they're like, but then, but then you're not in danger. And you, you it's like, it's like, you feel like you've been walking through danger, but then you are in danger and you know it. Um, but then it was combined with like having this fantasy relate relationship that, I didn't fully understand because I didn't even understand who she was and I still don't understand. And, and that's, that's the thing. Um, but I, the fact that I made fun of her, like it's like insulting someone's, you don't understand what insulting someone, a, a woman's looks can do to them. That's why next thing you know, she's got an ass, you know, she got a big ass and Diplo made fun of her. And like, I didn't even understand I was famous and that's how, I, and, I, and I was glad because I, I, I was like, Diplo showed me that I was famous um, that's like kind of how I figured out I was famous cause I had like 10 followers and like, and that, that's pretty much how I always find out or how back in the day I used to find out I was famous is cause someone on Twitter would say something and be like, they're referencing me, but I have like no followers at all. How in the world is that possible? Um, it's cause I didn't understand how long, like I have had, had a lot of people following me around because I was suspected of being a criminal, but also, um, I don't know. Anyways, yeah, this is my new hoodie. I think it's I think it's pretty cool. Um, all right, so people are attacking our economy. And then everyone's going, dude, I think I need to sell because what if it completely breaks? And you have a point there. Um, but that's when you have to ask yourself, like, do you want to be part of Team America? Like, are you on Team America? Because if you're on Team America, we can beat Team um, whoever is attacking our economy and whoever is attacking our economy most likely is a non-American because um, non-Americans tend to be most skeptical of the American economy. And because it, when we break it, it, it broke pretty bad in 2008. Um, but it, it, foreigners always want to short. And so that's why the Saudis sh shorted for so long until they couldn't take it anymore. Um, and so all I'm saying is like, we should be for the American economy and let's face it, some of these short bets are counting on our, our economy collapsing because their economy is already in a recession and they had another recession like, or they had a bear market like less than two years ago. I'm talking about Europe. And so they're counting on their shorts to work out. And it's not like they're being jerks. It's just they're shorting because the, the nature of the, of economics is betting. And like, I, I mean, if I was a, a hedge fund guy, would I short? I would have shorted um, when I saw the extreme volatility kicking in. Um, I would have, and I and I, and I, I I would have already stopped my short right now. This would be a good time, and then I would use the money I made off that short to um, try to subsidize um, specifically um, companies that. Um, 
add flavor to the American economy. You know, the Russell Index is about flavor. You know, the, the S&P 500 is about, like, everyday life. You know, the Russell Index is like, I'm so glad this exists. Like, I'm so glad French paint exists. I, I just love the French paint. And I feel bad buying French paint now. But then I'm like, they're so good at it. Like, they're so good at making paint. Um, so, um, but that, that's, that's the kind of thing that's on the Russell Index. But that's probably on the French Russell Index. Um... But that's why, like, during this crisis, yeah, they're like, we want to fight for our own economy, but we also should recognize that other countries are, are struggling too. And if there's any, like, any place in the world that's going to experience a recession, it's, it's, it's Europe right now because Europe is big and they're not as self-sustaining because they depend on Ukraine so much. Um, but they also, I mean, I'm sure that they depend on a lot of people, but we depend on Europe. That's the thing about the supply chain. Like, if, if we all have to be kind of honest about this and say, hey, um, stock market, freak out now, and then we're going to chill out because um, this is going to take a while to deal with. Like, people should know. Like, it's, it's going to take a year. And it's going to suck. But, um, I don't know, everyone's talking about bettering themselves, playing guitar. I should... I should play guitar every day i don't I, I play guitar like never um but i am painting every day I, I don't feel like i'm bettering myself in the way that i paint though i feel like i should take a painting class one painting class every day um yeah demi lovato seems she she seems like a special person all right i'm out of here